Hey guys, welcome to Kitchen Talk with Grana. I'm so glad you guys can come up into the kitchen and spend a little time with Grana today. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Uh, before we jump off into this conversation, you guys know what the routine is. Go ahead, right on down there, right down there. Go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button. Share my video with your family and friends. And if this is the first time you're checking out Kitchen Talk with Grandma, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you checked me out or you're already one of my followers, then go ahead and make sure you get your friends to subscribe to Ch Kitchen Talk with Grandma. Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get up into this conversation for today. Um, last week, I talked to you guys about the, the holidays coming up and all of that. And you know, the, the normal tradition that we do on, on the holidays, getting together with family and friends and all that. But um, all this week they've been um, reporting how the coronavirus cases has gone up. Like, you know, within the last couple of weeks, they, they have just like, just, just, just like wildfire. They just like went crazy. <clears throat> you know, at one point they was kind of starting to trickle down a little bit and they wasn't seeing as many cases coming in but now the coronavirus is back on the rise they're having a lot of cases and there are even you know the doctors and the scientists that's coming on the news uh channels are telling people not to have big family gathering for thanksgiving this year you know to try to limit it as much as possible and they're saying, you know, if you do get together for the Thanksgiving holiday to make sure, even though you're going to see family, to still make sure you're wearing your mask and you're still trying to social distance, you know. And they're saying, you know, even if you go and get tested like a week or so before you go to make sure you're good, you know, that's, that's good. But, you know, it's not going to prevent anything, you know, and when you return, it's still a possibility depending on how you're traveling, you know, if you're flying or you're taking a bus or a train, it's still that possibility being out in, you know, in the, in the social, out socialize, out around, not socializing, but out around other people to get to your destination, that is still that possibility of, of contacting the coronavirus. So they're asking people to, um, you know, to stay home, to, to not uh, gather. And they're saying that, you know, if it's, they're predicting it to have a lot of more cases. And they're saying if it does, you know, um, <clears throat> increase the way they say it is, then it's gonna be definitely even worse come Christmas time. And, you know, and a lot of states has already started back putting curfews, uh, in their states, they're shutting it down nine, 10 o'clock at night. A lot of the states has started back putting um, the amount of people that can go into restaurants and gyms and different places like that. And uh, I think people has started relaxing a little bit, maybe and maybe not um, being as cautious as they was months back or, you know, kind of relaxing a little bit. And, you know, we just kind of let their guard down a little bit. But, um, you know, the coronavirus is crazy. Like right now, just in the United States alone, we have like um, 10.5 um, uh, uh, million cases. And then we have like over 242,000 deaths already. And that's just rising, it's still rising. You know, we still have, there's more hotspot states than non-hotspot states. I think just about every state on the map is a hotspot, you know. I think like um, like North and South, South Dakota, like maybe like the number one states. And then you got like Florida and, and, and Texas and Idaho and Wisconsin. And I mean, it's just crazy how um, you saw a downfall and then you saw a surge with woo, it just, just went back off the map. So you really, um, you know, just really think about your holiday plans. I know, you know, next week is hot, is, is Thanksgiving and you know, the kids are going to be out of school if they haven't already closed some of the school down. Cause even with that, some of the kids are starting to contact, um, the coronavirus and having to quarantine 
and having to miss school. And then some of the schools where the staff are contacting the coronavirus and they're having to shut down the schools, you know, for a few weeks and stuff. So, even, you know, even if the schools haven't already closed down, the kids will be out, you know, that week of Thanksgiving. So just, you know, just be extra careful. You know, don't let your guard down. You know, we all want to spend time with our families, but it's best to be safe than sorry. You know, it's better to use the technology that we have and, you know, FaceTime them or set up your, a Zoom uh, meeting time and see them that way instead of, you know, maybe going to visit and someone do end up coming in contact with it or someone end up, you know, getting the virus or, you know, spreading it through the family or something like that. You know, you want to be able to see them again alive, you know, or instead of having to spend that last, you know, it being that last holiday that you spend with your family. So, you know, just, just think about that when you guys are making your plans for, um, for next week for Thanksgiving. Just really think about it. You know, it's, it's just so much going on. And I don't know, they were saying that they got this vaccine that's ready, um, like 99% ready. And I think they said when they start, you know, putting it out there, it's going to be for the, um, like the, um, these the uh people that the healthcare workers and you know those type of people will you know get it first and then maybe by spring of 2021 they'll have it ready for everyone else to get let me get a paper towel i'll be sweating like crazy so, but yeah so you know we don't know when that um vaccine is going to be ready for us to take or everybody else or even if you want to do it because you know it has moved pretty fast <laughs> and i ain't trying to be no guinea pig or anything like that so you know i don't know i don't know about that but i know eventually you know it's going to be just like all the other vaccines that we have to take it's going to be just like the measles and the mumps and you know and all that stuff and the flu and all that stuff so we're going to have to you know, take this vaccine, especially the way this pandemic has affected so many people and, you know, what, how many people it has um, uh, caused to lose their life. So I know this is going to be a probably a vaccine that they're going to have to add on, on the, on the, on the list of everything else that we have to take, you know, um, just to say, just to stay safe, just to stay healthy. So, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait till um, the spring of 2021 and just kind of see how that works out and how that go. But um, until then, we're just going to have to, um, we're just going to have to take it, you know, go back, go back to the, to the way it was, you know, when this thing first hit and they had us all, you know, locked down and, and, and staying in the house and, <clears throat> you know, limiting where you go and what you needed to go out to get and just basically going to do that and right back at home, you know, because you want to, uh, you know, you want to be safe and you want everybody around you to be safe and you don't want to um, put anyone in any situation if, if you can help it, especially, you know, your family. You know, you want to spend time with your family. We all get that. Cause I would love for my family to, um, you know, to come down for the holidays so we get together. But you know, we've already decided that we're not going to do that. We, you know, we'll be doing the technology thing. We'll be FaceTiming and, and we'll be talking to each other that way. And, you know, talking about, you know, what we cooked and all this kind of stuff, but we won't be, um, physically getting together this Thanksgiving and everything. So, you know, you guys, you know, you make your own decision and you know, do what you feel is right for your family. But when you're making those decisions, you know, just check out some of these um, numbers that's out there and, and some of the stuff that's, that's going on with this coronavirus and how it's still, I mean, I think, I forgot what state it is, but it has gotten so bad. I don't know if it was Idaho, but it has gotten so bad where they, they're back to, they had to bring some freezer some, some some freezer trucks, the, the, the trucks with the freezers in them so that they could store the bodies in because so many people was passing so fast, you know, on a daily basis, they didn't have anywhere to store the bodies. 
I mean, that's just really sad. And they also showed a funeral home. You know, they didn't, didn't take us all the way into the room where the bodies are, but they opened the door where the camera can kind of shoot off in there. And all you could see around the whole room was, you know, bodies, covered up bodies. And, she, and the funeral director was saying that they're out of room. They don't have anywhere to put the bodies before they could even, you know, do what they need to do to process, you know, to process the bodies and do what they need to do. They're just simply out of room. You know, they're coming in so fast. They don't know what to do. They're, they're overwhelmed because they've never had to, you know, they never experienced this before. So even, you know, being, you know, funeral home service, those people are so overwhelmed right now and having to take care of those family uh, members of, uh, those, you know, families, members, um, people, and they having so many to come in, they don't even know what to do, you know, with the body. This one room that they had these bodies in, it was, it was packed. There was bodies all over, all over the room. So it's, it's just a lot that's going on right now. It is. We want to all enjoy, the, you know, the Thanksgiving holidays. Everybody want to have a great time, but we really, we really need to you know, get back into the practice of this, um, the mass win, the social distance and all that. And if you can, um, you know, use your technology to spend that time with your family next week, you know, do that, you know, do that. I mean, and if you gotta travel, if you really got want to go and see your family, maybe you can drive and not have to use any type of public uh, transportation, you know, flying or train or anything like that. You can drive your own vehicle. That might cut down, you know, some of it right there. That may knock the percentage down a little bit if you're in your own vehicle, you know. So, you know, guys, just, just be safe. You know, however you choose to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday, you know, just be safe as possible. Enjoy it. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll be safe going, be safe coming back, be safe while you're there. And just have a happy Thanksgiving. You know, that's what I wish for everybody. I hope everybody have the best Thanksgiving that they can and everything. But uh, I'm about to get ready to let you guys get out of here. Just wanted to throw that out there about the coronavirus. And, you know, I don't know if you guys watch the news as much as I do, but I'm always, you know, watching the news. And I was just amazed at how fast these uh, these numbers has risen risen back up, you know, within weeks of each other, you know, with the, I mean, just, you know, down here and back up here. So, you know, when you're out there and about, make sure you're wearing your mask, make sure you're still social distant, make sure you still uh, got your sanitizer with you and doing all the things that you need to do to keep yourself, your family, your friends, whoever you're around safe, okay? Guys, happy Thanksgiving. Have a blessed one. And I will catch you guys in a little over a week because I will not be back for Thanksgiving week. Have a good one.